What's up guys, MW2Hax here bringing you um, a different sort of video. I thought it would be about time to do this. Um, I'm not too sure what the sound or video quality is like on this. It's because I am doing it on my Sony Xperia S, my new phone. So, yeah, I don't know what the quality is like of this at all. So, hopefully it's good. So, I'm just going to show you the gaming setup today. Nice quick video showing you and what I'd recommend and what I wouldn't recommend. So I think we'll start off with the actual computer. Um, I honestly don't know what, it's some Galaxy computer thing, which I'm not too sure um, what it is, but I know prices start from about 300 quid upwards. My one's four five hundred pound. To get hold of this, just type in on play.com or something, gaming PC, and it, that one will come up as about five different models. My one... However, it is six years old, so it hasn't got HDMI or nothing. But the newer models all got HDMI, Windows 7, they've got everything. I would definitely recommend this computer if you're just starting out as a gamer. They are really good. My one is, if you are going to buy an older model, there's one thing that you'll need to buy. is an internet card um, from Maplin. Or from wherever, for about 30 quid. That can be easily put in and, and you will have Wi-Fi. So, yeah, that is um, good. It's got USB ports on the front. It's got a um, microphone and headphone jack on the front. It's got um, microphone, headphone, USB ports, everything on the back of the PC. It's got one fan on the side and a fan on the back. And fans will be inside on the graphics card and all of that lot. So, yeah, that's the PC starting from about um, 300 quid upwards. Amazing PC for a beginner uh, to start off with. And then work your way upwards. Um, someone told me before I got this that you'd need to change the case because it overheats and hot, whatever. But to be honest, you don't really need to change the case because um, my room gets really quite hot and I've not had to change my case and the temperature has just been fine. It's not overheated or nothing. Okay, so yeah, that's that one. Now we'll go up to the monitor. This is a. I um, honestly don't know what make it is. It's 100 quid from PC World. LED Ultra Slim, um, just to prove how slim it is. Look at it. Extremely slim. It is now absolutely amazing. It has got HD on it. Um, it's a nice 23 inch. It's just absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, it's just the only thing is you have to be careful with it. It is a bit wobbly. But I don't know if you can see that, but it is a bit wobbly, but never mind. Um, it is an awesome monitor to have. So, that's the monitor and PC. I'd rec definitely recommend both of them. Now to the Logitech G27. To be honest, I'd recommend it... I'd only really recommend it if you've got a big desk. Um, I wouldn't recommend it if you've got something like that to play it on. Because that is just, just too small. Because it takes up a hell of a lot of room. Because the wheel is quite big and look at the size of the pedals and then you get all the wiring coming from it and everything and it is quite a pain and like, then the shifter and all that lot but apart from that it is amazing so 900 degree turning all the way around for feedback um you've got your six gear shifter here you've got your flappy paddles rpm monitor here buttons on the side bottom on the side. stainless steel lever i mean who doesn't love lever is absolutely amazing. Uh, your nice stainless steel pedals, lever shifter, absolutely amazing. Uh, starting from about 184 quid, I think I paid for my one. So I definitely recommend this. Main only mainly if you've got a large desk, but if you've got something like my size, you can have it. But I will warn you, there's not a lot of room because I've got my PC down there, the pedals, my subwoofer. All of that all comes upwards. It's not a lot of room. Um, so yeah, that's that one. There's. Uh, I'm going to go on to the mic that I use now, actually. Uh, I use this little 25 quid Logitech thing from PC World. At the moment, it is absolutely amazing. Nice, cheap starter mic. But um, if you're looking... If you're uh, going to want to be... Do things more professionally... Then I'd go out and buy yourself a Geotech EX05. 
military headset, which is a um, gaming headset, obviously. It's got a nice, flexible rubber bit here, nice soft ear pads. Extremely loud, but extremely good. Um, I paid 50 quid for my one, I think. The only bad thing is, is all the wires that you get coming off of it. Um, there's my PS3 set up. I don't know why it's on, but yeah, there's the controller. You've got all the PS3 games up there. Um, so that's the PS3 setup. I'll quickly show you my Xbox setup. Um, the reason it's in this little cubby hole is because I don't have a lot of room in my room, to be honest. Um, there's the Xbox. System that's what's games controller all that lot. I'd recommend both of them, but personally, my main favorite is the Xbox. Um, so yeah, that's them gamer set up. My keyboard and mouse, both Logitech, both wireless, both absolutely amazing. They've got amazing range. If I show you the adapter thingy, is there that little green light? And then the keyboard and mouse are all the way up here, and they still work absolutely fine. They are. Good, they long, they last forever. Uh, oh, my granddad had them for a couple of years, and now I've got them. Um, the mouse is unbelievably good. I mean, it takes two AA batteries, and they last about four months. This thing never turns off. Never, ever just goes off or nothing. And the battery is using all the battery power for about nine months. Um, not nine months, four months. Constant. It is epic. They, it's nice, it's nice lightweight. Not a lot of sound. Coming from them, don't know where the mic is. Yeah, yeah not a lot of sound coming from them either. Keyboard, nice, lightweight, same, lasts forever. I think I don't even think I've had to change the batteries on this yet. To be perfectly honest with you, don't think that turns off it either. Um, the my other desktop mic, my other mic, my little desktop one here. I wouldn't recommend the sound's not really good. You have to be really up close, or you have to shout at it. My webcam. Number Logitech thing is don't buy it whatsoever. So bad, so laggy, it's unbelievably laggy. Um, moving on to the speakers, nice Logitech. You've got your little control panel here, so you can turn it up and down, control your bass volume. Nice, small size. Subwoofer's pretty large, but I suppose you get all good sound. You get all your nice good sound from it. The desk, I wouldn't. Oh, I would definitely recommend these speakers. The desk. Um, oh, focus camera. I wouldn't really recommend the desk too much. It's a bit small and a bit tight. If you if you are a big gamer and you've got a lot of, lot of equipment, I wouldn't really recommend this sort of size desk. I'd more recommend a nice larger size desk. I would have my dual set up, but I haven't really got the room up there, so I kind of can't. But I'm sure I'm gonna probably figure out a way to do it to have my dual setup up there so to be honest with you guys I don't go out spending absolute thousands on your best setup you can buy and you're, there's no point in spending loads and loads of money on your setup if you're not going to get any money back from it so my one's a uh, grand and a half but I haven't had to pay that much for all of this. I didn't have to pay so much for my computer because it was my granddad's. I brought it off him. Monitor was a birthday present. Steering wheel, birthday present. So I haven't had to spend too much money on this. Overall, I've probably spent about £600 on this and it's about a grand and a half worth of equipment. The only... This is... I'll probably buy like little bits like graphics cards and everything. I wouldn't, wouldn't buy nothing too big or too expensive at the moment until... Uh, you, unless you're getting money for what you do, you're getting money back for what you do on your PC, then yeah, fair enough, go ahead and spend as much money as you like. But if you're not, then there's not really much point in spending thousands and thousands on a um, setup that you're not really going to get money back from. So, yeah, that is my gamer setup. Um, so, yeah, overall, all about um, a grand and a half. That's... Including the iPad, I think. I'm not too sure. The iPad's not there. I don't know where that's gone. Um, yeah, that's not inclu uh, That's including the iPad, I think. So without the iPad, it'll be about just over a grand. So yeah, I do hope you like my gaming setup. Tell us what you think. Tell me what the quality and sound quality is like on this new phone. It's the Sony Xperia S. I would recommend it. It is 
absolutely epic. So yeah, thank you for watching, people. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Please feel free to ask any questions you want. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.